and I'm doing it for my daughter. Regardless, your judge has a. It's just, a, it's just a wall, Ben. Don't worry about it. We're gonna, we're destroying this place now. No, fuck that. It's ridiculous. This your judge has AIDS on the mural that we painted. It's kind of funny. I don't think it's that funny to be honest with you. I don't think it's destroying. What's R.I.P. Judge... Bam? They're talking about Bam Marger because he died. Was... No, he didn't. Oh. I don't think it's funny. Really? Personally, I just don't. I don't. Don't you love Bam Margera? Yeah. I do. I, I don't really feel any type of way about it. Why are we joking about R.I.P. Bam? I don't know. That's what we're being told. Bam is a drug. That's what the TTS is um, fucking with them. Yeah. Okay. I watched Be Little Bam. Bam. But Get rid of that R.I.P. Bam, please, whoever did that. Alright. Megan, um, let's get you over. Let's get you to stand. Why don't you, uh. Did Megan write R.I.P. Bam? No, I didn't. No, but she wrote the Judge Has AIDS thing. Get out of the corner, Summer. Sorry. Megan, come here. Megan. Just, just stand right there. Let me see, let me see your sponge. Okay, can you get into the corner just a smidge? And look, look at the wall. Just Is she in, even in frame, though, over there? Get, get, you come over, come come over in this corner. Right? I think it's kind of excessive to make her stand in the corner, but if you're gonna do it, you might as well have her do it right here. If she's destroying our shit, destroying the house. Come here, come here. Just stand and look right right in the corner right there. We'll have her do it in this corner right here, Ben. Just that corner now. Which I think you should. I don't think you should need to do this though. Taylor, can you step aside so she can stand in the corner, please? I mean, she's already in the corner, so just have Megan clean the R.I.P. Bam too. I yeah. guess. Yeah. Do you understand where I'm coming from, though? I, I don't. Just, think you I, need I to don't. Do this no, I. I'm not trying to be excessive or make her. I'm not trying to like embarrass her in front of everybody, but I don't like the fact that we spend all these all this time painting murals in pre-production, getting the show ready for these people, and it's day four. It's it's the fourth day, and they come in and start destroying shit. I mean, it's it hasn't even been a week, and like, look, the murals aren't fucked. There's there's all kinds of shit on this. There's bloody eyes up there. There's a UFO. I didn't tell them to come up and draw this thing for these people. And it's it's getting worse. It's, I'm, I'm telling you what. If you let them, if you give them this, they're going to think it's okay to go upstairs and start fucking up more shit upstairs. Next thing you know, they'll be drawn on the walls in bedroom three or fucking painting over. I mean, I mean that's a good point. You let it slide once and then, you know, they're going to start testing the waters and seeing how much they can get away with. So I'm sorry. I don't mean to be excessive. But I just feel like making an example out of one of them who is the the prime culprit. And then also, Judge has AIDS. What if I, I did have AIDS? It's just dis, it's just distasteful. I think it's distasteful. You told me you do. What if I had? What if I actually had AIDS? Well, if I told you that in confidence, why are you blabbing about it? You told all the cameras. The cameras weren't running when I said that. Are you sure? Yeah, I told you that we did cameras off time. Come on, man. I thought I could confide in you. I'm sorry. It goes like this. Megan, look at me. Just pause for a second. It goes like this, okay? It's judge, then it's production, then there's a then there's a big gap, okay? I'm just an actor. There's a big there's gap. production and, and then, then the there's judge. the fish. I'm actually the good cop in this Then situation. there's the fish below the big gap. So, you're you're trying to like you trying to flip the hierarchy. How big is the gap? It's it's not it's not like a uh, <coughs> It's not like Grand Canyon size, but it's it's big. It's a it's a sizable gap. Is it the distance from heaven to hell? Yeah, that could uh, maybe a little less. Okay. Just a little less, but it's it's real close. Mm. And trying to flip the hierarchy, the fish are gonna overtake the producers and paint and shit. I'm telling you what, I'm I'm not I'm not gonna let that happen. Jet might be cool with it. The judge might be cool with it. I'm not cool with it. I'm, I'm not. So. You clean up the, the BAM shit, and then keep looking into the corner. I'll be back up in five minutes. I want that shit cleaned off. Yeah. Guys, I'm sorry about that. Over here. In the closet? Yeah. And just stand right here, okay. and just face me. Okay. Um, What's up? 
How you doing? I'm okay. Could you actually stand deeper in the closet so yeah. the light sort of gets I, out of your I face there? Yeah? Did you hear about the letter that I gave to Jet? Yeah, the letter that you gave to Jet. Is that? It's how this. Do you feel about that? Well, I didn't read it because oh, it's. Okay. It looks. Uh, I don't read stuff that looks like this. Yeah. I, it's kind of like melodramatic. Okay. Well, do you want to just read it? Out loud to you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Probably louder because I don't think there's a microphone in the closet, so you might have to but yell it kind of. There's a few things that might spoil something in this. Well, don't read. Uh, Maybe point to it. This, the okay, point yeah, about yeah. that, you don't have to read okay. that. Okay. 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 Um, okay. I said, should I look at the camera when I'm talking or at you? Probably, yeah. Okay. You don't have That's the best way to get attention. You don't have to answer, but... Probably louder. Sorry, I feel like I might cry and my voice might shake, but I will okay. try to project and be loud. Okay. Sorry, I hate that I cry. It's so cringe. Okay. All right. Um, you don't have to answer, but I thought I should write and give this to staff. So, now presenting questions for Vance or staff from Summer. In your opinion... If you have one. Summer Lama Ding Dong. Summer Lama Ding Dong. Do you think it was irresponsible for me to apply as a contestant knowing now the extent of my mental illness? By that I mean, if you as a casting director saw the extent of my habits, crying, panic attacks, etc., would you have not picked me for the show? I'm kind of asking is it more than you guys bargained for, if that makes sense? Also, I would like to... Is that the end of the first question? Yeah, it's okay. so long. Oh my god, yeah. Do you need to... Are you okay to continue on the show? I absolutely am, but I'm worried that you guys don't do think you, I am. Do you need to go to a mental hospital? I really don't. Okay. Do you guys think that I do, though? I mean, I don't... Whatever. Okay, I'm not a medical god. professional. Do you need to go to a mental hospital or do you need to leave the show though? No, not at all. Not Are you sure? Opinion. I'm absolutely positive, 100%. Okay. And I would do anything to prove it to you, dude. Like, I want to be on the show more than anything. Okay, dokey. Like, I would literally do anything. Like, I just want to be here. That's so dramatic. <laughs> You're. N are you? Are you uh, planning on harming yourself? No, I promise I would never harm myself on this show because I know it would get you guys in serious trouble and I don't want people to see me harming myself ever. All I've done right. it in the past, but I don't want to do that anymore. That's, I would never hurt myself on the show okay. ever, ever for any reason. I promise. All right. Well, if you I'm feel that if you feel that your health if you feel that your health is in uh, jeopardy, you need to go down to the basement and tell the staff that you need to go home. Okay. okay. I promise I haven't ever felt like that yet. Though. All right. Well, whatever. What's the next thing you had there? Let me. This is your Christmas list for Santa Claus, right? <laughs> no. Oh no. I was just fucking skits are writing. Uh huh. <laughs> Also, I would like to explain my strategy more to one of you because I don't know if it's too clear yet and I don't want to confuse y'all. I think I have been confusing y'all so far. That's I don't the think one. they I don't think they care. Okay, can I read the next one? Sure. Also, have my habits gotten the show? I don't think you're confusing anybody though. Okay, I think really? they just yeah, they just go, Oh, she's crying. Yeah. Well I mean with like my status as a contestant. Okay. Like the strategy behind. Yeah, I mean, that's up to you, whatever. What's okay. the next thing? Um, also, have my habits gotten the show in any hot water? Like, I don't want to give you a bad reputation if it looks really bad. Finally, I would like to tell you not to go soft on me, please. Just because my reactions are intense, please don't worry so much because it's honestly normal for me to act this way. If you go too soft on me, the audience will notice. But that I mean, please don't be scared to go hard on me just because that you are coddling me, I mean. 
As a final note, I hope I haven't been worrying your staff or stressing them out too badly. I may just need a little bit of guidance when I get in that state of mind. Maybe a sit down or a cool down if it gets to be to the level that it was today because I wrote this yesterday. Uh -huh. And I said thank you for everything. I sincerely mean it when I tell you this was my biggest dream and I wouldn't want to be anywhere else as crazy as that sounds. Keep on keeping on, Summer. Okay. And that's like the entire thing. Okay. Thank you for listening. What? Thank you for listening. All right. Um. So the uh, info, the whole infiltrator thing. Ignore that for a second. That's a separate thing okay. from what I'm about to talk about. Okay. There is now in the house an enemy spy. Okay? The enemy spy, the first person to figure out who the enemy spy is, is going to get a thousand bucks. You only get to guess one time. Okay. We're going to approach you later on for your guess. Do not talk to anybody okay. about the enemy spy. Oh, and we're going to decide tonight. We're going to figure that out probably tonight or maybe tomorrow. Okay. All right. You can go. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. Do you want me to throw this away or something? Yeah, throw it away. Sure. Probably burn it. Come on in. Just take a plop it, plop it right down that bed there. You know what I mean by plop it down? Sit. Plop it on down. All right. How's it going? Good. What's happening? Uh, nothing really. Oh wait, yeah, something did happen today. I saw the incredibly passionate kiss <laughs> that the whole internet's talking about. Yeah. Everybody on the computer who's got a computer connection is talking about that smooch. Yeah, that was incredible funny. stuff. <laughs> Yeah. How'd it make you feel? Um, what am I doing it again? <laughs> what are you doing it again? Wouldn't mind doing it again. Yeah, okay. He, he definitely said he wanted to do it for the money or something. Yeah, he's just bullshitting. Because <laughs> he doesn't want to appear too thirsty. Mm -hmm. But the Brian buddies are going to triumph. Yeah. They're going to get it. Just you wait. Okay, cool. Um... What else? Anybody you, you hate their guts yet? Hate their guts? Uh, no I mean, one? You're pretty chill. I'm pretty chill. Like, I get along with everyone. I'm, I did have that incident with Summer last night. Yeah. With the door slam in my face. Did she slam the door in your face? Yeah. She, well, I tried to go in my room to get my clothes, and then she, like, barricaded the door, and I said, can I come in? And she says, you can try. So I started pushing on the door, and she slammed it. Damn. Yeah, and I said, yo, what the fuck? And fuck, I should have kept that letter. Fuck. Dude, I gotta get that letter back. Stay here for a second. Okay. Yo. Mm. Oh. What? Nothing. The letter? Or this? The letter. The letter? Oh, you, were you salivating at the mouth for one of these? <laughs> no. It's just sparkling water. What the fuck is people's problem? All right. <laughs> Don't say anything about Zip. All right. Um, dude, she she absolutely knows what she's doing. Uh, try to try to read this whack-ass letter that she brought down while crying. Uh, you don't have to read it aloud. Just look at that, though. She's a fucking coconut.
Isn't that way too much? Yeah. I think she's, uh, I think she's the type to, that's, I mean, this is kind of, is obvious, like faking a mental illness for attention. Mm. I think she's absolutely doing that. Um, I feel like she does have a mental illness, but she also, like, exaggerates it, maybe. Yeah, she, well, she has the, the same method, she has, like, it's, I think it's, like, extreme narcissism or something. Like, mm. performative, attention-seeking narcissism. Doesn't matter. It's just crazy to me that she wrote that and brought it down to the basement like a fucking whatever. I Did I tell you? Up. Um, so the infiltrator thing, mm -hmm. it's not Jimmy, by the way. And also, that's a separate thing. Don't worry about the infiltrator anymore until later. Separate thing. It's a little confusing. There's a different person who is the enemy spy. Enemy spy. Enemy spy. Okay? So... Whoever guesses who the enemy spy is first gets a thousand bucks. You only get one guess. We're going to approach you and ask about it later. Okay? Um, that's it. And don't, men don't mention to anybody that you're looking for the enemy spy, obviously. Keep it to yourself. All right, that's all.